thank you all very much. Okay, so for our next talk, it's a subject very close to my heart. We've got um, Stefan, who's going to be talking about student podcasting. Yes. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, my name's uh, Stefan Kasper. I run the digital learning team within iSolutions. And um, uh, one of the things I look after is MOOCs. Um, but if you have an idea, theory, or concept, and you want somebody to make a learning object or a video about it, then you, I'm probably one of the people that you would, might want to get in touch with. Um, but today, I'm sort of here uh, representing something that I'm, I'm kind of uh, keen on and really passionate about, uh, and that's podcasting. And I think I make a lot of video in the university, but one of the things that's really overlooked is audio. And so I'm here to make a sort of heartfelt plea for 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 getting uh, podcasting underway. We ran a really fantastic podcasting conference last year. Lots of people came along, uh, and already there's a, a really thriving community uh, of podcasters already at Southampton that we'd like you to join. So, uh, why? Because absolutely, uh, you know, it, it's uh, accessible, engaging, and easy. And what I mean by accessible is that with a video, you have to stick yourself in front of a screen, you have to commit the time. Uh, but a podcast, you can listen to when you're walking the dog, doing the dishes, um, driving the car. Uh, it really does get your message out there. Um, you know, what I should say is that what I'm, I'm, I'm not just asking for podcasting, I'm looking for academic podcasting. So I'm looking for ways that podcasting can be part of your instruction, part, part of the day-to-day -day of, of your teaching. I was working with somebody uh, last week, and they were saying that they had a series of conversations coming up with all the different um, uh, people who were delivering lectures on their module. And I said, well, why don't we record those? So uh, now, all of those pre-conversations that they have about what their lecture is going to be about, what they're going to be saying, they're recorded, and they're going to be published on Blackboard uh, as, as podcasts in their own right. And what better way to, uh, uh, to, to get uh, straight into the lecture itself than the, to hear all the prep about it and to hear all the conversation that's going on. So um, what you need to do is you need to have a little bit of a plan. You need to get yourself uh, set up. You need to think about what sort of uh, a podcast you're going to do. It might just be yourself talking uh, and, and explaining ideas and concepts. It might be a conversation between t uh, two academics, two colleagues. I really like uh, podcasts that have often uh, sort of a lay person and the expert asking uh, really daft questions. That's often my role, I should say. Um, but what you get from that is a, is a huge amount in terms of content. I really like interviews. You know, a lot of people have guest lecturers that they come. Why not interview them whilst you're just having a, a cup of coffee um, beforehand? You know, I, I don't mind a podcast that's th three, five, ten, fifteen minutes long. You know, some podcasts I listen to uh, take an hour and a half, but actually, I do them in twenty-minute chunks in my commute on the way to, uh, on the way to work. So lots of things you can do there. For students, uh, getting them involved, getting them to make podcasts is really exciting. They can use those in terms of reflection or to provide you feedback on the work that you're doing. And it doesn't take much to get you started. So um, like I say, when I sit down to do a podcast, uh, I usually have a piece of paper next to me. I've, I've just sketched out the sort of broad terms of the things that I'm going to be talking about. We've just got a plan. Maybe it's just bullet points, something like that. Um, I, we start recording. This is the microphone I'm ho holding. This is my phone. Um, all I've got is a, a, a little thingamajiggy on top of it, just to kind of, to, just to help me, really, uh, and um, just to cut out some of those sort of extraneous sounds. And then, uh, using the same app, I can publish uh, straight to the web, or I can save that as a file on my computer. So, um, the, but really how, I'm going to leave you with uh, three uh, apps to go and try. Uh, the first one, which is the one I'm using right this second, is Voice Recorder Pro. Um, what I'll do is, I'll, 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 when I finish talking, I'll just send this from my chair uh, up to the website, and that'll be there for you to download. I'll, you, or you can, you can find it on Twitter. Um, this is, it's really simple. Uh, it records, it records at really nice quality. It records an MP3 file, and you can do, and then you, when you stop it, you just have a whole load of different options about what you want to do with it. Okay, one minute to go. Uh, Boss Jock Jr. is really fantastic. That's where you can become a complete radio station in itself. Uh, it's like a set of different pads. You record your voice into one of them. You might even have a jingle, some music, or some effects, or whatever you want to do. Uh, knock yourself out, uh, put them all, all together, and then you just sort of play it. You know, and then at the end, it spits out a fantastic uh, uh, file that uh, then you can upload and do whatever you like with it. Uh, and then, uh, last of all, Anchor, which really plugs into sort of social media. Uh, and that's really uh, a sort of audio Twitter, really. So um, 
that's really encouraging you to do really short uh, audio pieces, um, get them loaded up and get them shared and get people to collaborate on them. And they work really well with students as a sort of call and response sort of thing. So um, uh, I am available on Twitter uh, for any advice, guidance or support as long as it's, what is it, 152 characters. So there we go. Thank you. Great, Stefan. So, um, really interesting. Any quick questions? Yeah, he, he, would anyone like to ask a question? Yes. Um, so, you said that Apple then uploads it straight to the web. What are the best kind of platforms? Like, is there a university platform that's the platform? Yeah, uh, completely up to you. you so, you can use, uh, load audio files up to uh, Blackboard, you know, or you might have your, uh, you can email them to your students if it's, that's, that's easier. Um, with Voice Recorder Pro that I'm using now, uh, you, it plugs straight into iTunes, and you can have an account that you've just set up yourself. So, so again, it's the the key is uh, is thinking of a of a several def destinations, in fact. And and I would always just poll my students to find out what is the most popular amongst them. If Facebook's the thing that they're all plugged into, then that's where the file needs to go. Any further questions? Yeah. Thank you very much. Have you considered about the pros and cons of using just audio as opposed to audio plus video? Yeah, yeah, absolutely, and and you know, in terms of the team that uh, I work with, uh, um, we create a huge range of different uh, resources. Uh, it's you know, it is about context. Sometimes you're absolutely right. You need the visual. You need to explain something, but sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's about the concept. Sometimes it's about the conversation, and that's where audio really plays into itself. I think there's been a real push that uh, video is sort of king, uh, as it were, and I'm just sort of flying the fag for audio and say, uh, don't forget it because it can be really effective as well. Okay, thank you so much, Stefan, for that. It was really informative. So, um, our next speaker, we're lucky that we've got students giving talks today as well. And we've got students not only from the University of Southampton, but from other unis. So I think um, Christiana Dawes, you're from...